came out like a house on fire. Uh, they really were focused, did not let the big crowd bother them. Uh, hit about 500 for the first game, which is really unbelievable uh, against a, a bigger opponent and one that a team that's supposed to be good defensively. And it really wasn't until about a game and a half that we started to get into some rhythm. Uh, our block improved dramatically. We started digging some balls. And, and I thought our serving and blocking was the difference in this game tonight. Uh, and that was that was the key. We knew going in, if we would out serve and out block, and we'd eventually win the match. It just took us you know, four games. Well, it, start, it starts with your setter, and she just has been getting better every every particular game. And, um, you know, you don't beat a team like Ball State the way we did going away without your setter playing at a very high level, and uh, she, she just outworks everybody on the team, so it's great to see her get that kind of, um, you know, credit and, and that type of reward. But I thought to have Catherine Rabarczyk break out this weekend, which I had predicted that she would. Uh, she is such a great player, and she hasn't played well yet. She had a good week of practice. We thought that she would come out and be ready to play. Um, I thought that... Uh, both our left sides were very solid tonight, Turner and, and Griffin, and they got a lot of balls, and they had very few errors. They kept the ball alive, forced uh, Ball State to try to terminate, and they had a hard time doing that because we played such good defense. Our blocking all across the board improved as the night went on. Our middles were really good at smothering their best attack, which is the middle. But I thought Blair Bash was outstanding tonight. They both of their serve, uh, with a digging across court. It's just a combination of all those things that allowed us to win. It was a big match for us tonight in front of a sellout crowd.